Uh, but we're going to argue that consumption is a better measure of well-being than income. And so let me just give you a, a quick summary as to why. Um, conceptually, consumption is a better measure of material well-being. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, income varies for a number of different reasons uh, that might not necessarily be related to well-being. Uh, probably the best way to, to see this is, is think about uh, a scenario like a, a family that's a, a, or a couple that's retired. Uh, their income is zero. They're living off of their assets. They own their home outright, and they own their car outright. Uh, they, their consumption, as we measure it, would suggest that they're living just fine. Their income would be zero. would suggest that they're in abject poverty. Consumption is doing a better, measure, better job of capturing their well-being. It doesn't always have to be that consumption is, uh, is higher than income. Uh, you could uh, consider an individual who is working in a, in a well-paying job, but uh, a round of layoffs are, are forthcoming, and they're quite certain they're going to get laid off. That uncertainty might uh, encourage them to start saving for the rainy day. Their consumption falls, but their income at that before they get la laid off is still high. So the income is then overstating uh, their well-being at that, at that point in time. So consumption, because as economists call it, cap better reflects permanent income, it's going to do a better job of, of re reflecting a material well-being. There's also a lot of arguments about which is measured better. So this comes down to, comes down to a measurement issue. Uh, and those measurement issues uh, could go either way in terms of uh, in the arguments for income, for consumption, uh, say for the typical family. Uh, Bruce and I have done a lot of work on the evidence for uh, those at the bottom of the distribution. And there, I think the evidence is pretty compelling that consumption is better, is better measured than income. Perhaps the most telling statistic is that if you look at the very bottom of the distribution, uh, those families are uh, outspending their income by many multiples. Um, and if you look at their assets and debts, debts that can't explain the difference. Um, and so digging deeper, we find evidence that income is considerably underreported um, at the bottom of the distribution. Um. So let me quickly just tell you the data we use, and then, I, and then I'll show you our results. So the, the income data come from the current population survey.